first is a beautiful little lie. <laughs> um, it promises so much. Yeah. Um, and, and probably actually comes from a good place. So if I, I love to assume a best intent. And assuming good intent, I think, keeps relationships intact. It's good in my marriage. If I'm assuming best intent, the lie, put yourself first, um, likely originated in self-care is so important. Um, if you don't care for yourself, who will? If you run yourself down, who's going to then care for your, your husband? Who's going to then love your kids? Um, like I've had times when I cared so little for myself that a child would walk into the room with a real need and I'm emotionally gone. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't be present with the kid. Um, or my wife has something she really wanted to discuss, but I have done so little caring for myself that I can really show up to care for her when she's needing me. And so the best intent for put yourself first is like uh, the tools that I have in my garage who, that need sharpening. Um, they need you know to be cleansed of, of anything that would create rust and then they can do the job. And so put yourself first, I think promises that like you're going to be sharper for your life. You're going to be, you're going to be better for your relationships sure, if sure. you, if you care for yourself. But the mantra itself doesn't lead to that. Actually, <laughs> the, the mantra actually leads. I think this is true. <clears throat> I think the mantra actually leads to everything else is now going to become an inconvenience to you and everyone else will ultimately become an annoyance to you. Because it, by putting yourself first, it's no longer about sharpening yourself for others. It's no longer about caring yourself so that you can be your best self for others. It's actually now about self-worship. It, it actually turns into now when you come to me with an, an issue or I have a neighbor who's needy, the neighbor is now an annoyance to me. Mm -hmm. The neighbor is now getting in the way of what I was hoping to do today or what I was really needing for myself. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think there's a lie. I think if you take this to Jesus... Jesus doesn't want you to hate yourself, Renee. Um, <laughs> Jesus wants you to care enough to be able to do the things that he asks you to do for yourself. But Jesus actually has a first order of things and a priority that he asks you to focus on first. Um, the word protos in the Greek means first in a sequence of things, but it also means first in rank. And when you ask Jesus about that which is protos, in Matthew 6, 33, he says, seek first the kingdom of God. And so for Jesus, it's, a, it's an act of faith to actually put something else, protoss, that's not self. Mm. And that act of, act of faith is entrusting that God will care for you in the, in the ways that you're really needing to be cared for. So Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you as well. And he was just talking about food and clothing and drink and about how when somebody seeks first the loving rule and reign of God, it's a trusting, um, it's a faith act that says, God, I'm actually going to shift my focus away from self towards your loving reign and in hopes that you're going to provide for me and take care of me. Um, so, it is actually what's good for us. I mean, in a way, is, in a roundabout is. way, it's like, it, is it is helping ourselves. It is, yeah. Because you were made for it. Because we, yeah, because we're rightly prioritizing. That's yeah, right. That's how right. How we were made. That's right. So yeah, um, it, I you know you're, that's so nice and kind. That's a beautiful way to say it. I'm more hardcore. I was more like, so doesn't Jesus say somewhere like, die to yourself? Yeah, he does. Like you can't follow me unless you're dead. That's you gotta right. be dead. So <laughs> the see so seeking first the kingdom of God is death to self. Yeah. Because literally. Yeah you're taking yourself off of that protoss, off of first importance of first rank, and you're putting something else there. Mm -hmm. And the act of doing that, first of all, I mean, there's a grieving process in that act because now you're, you are literally dying to hopes and dreams. You're, you're dying to aspirations. You're dying to, well, I, I thought I in some way deserved to just care for myself throughout. And, and, and that's death to self, especially when Jesus says, sometimes seeking first the kingdom of God will lead you to suffering. Mm -hmm. um, it will lead you to trial. It will lead you to persecution. Um, but it is the protoss that Jesus shifts our eyes to because in the end, those who seek first the kingdom of God receive ultimate reward from God himself. Yeah. So, yeah. So put yourself first. Not really. First lie. Yeah. I mean, but, but care for yourself. Yeah. So again, I assume yeah. best intent, care for yourself, um, so that you can be sharp for your relationships. So yes. you can do the tasks that God has put before you. But if you are honest with yourself, the question is, what truly is of most importance in my life? Mm -hmm. And for the believer, it's the kingdom of God or it's the worship of self. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We're so, 
we swing wildly, don't we? Yeah. Back and forth between extremes, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Self hate and self exaltation. Yeah.